So other than that, it's virtually easy. It's a nice business if you find the right people to buy. Or I see it's like your uh, on your first four four or five graves, they're gonna be fun. But after a while, you're gonna be like, I want money for this. And so you find somebody who's like, you know, who wants this person. All right, so like, it's like if you want, it's like if you want a Melvis or something, you get at least a mil for it. All right, um, if you want Marilyn Monroe, at least get a mil for it. You know, you get high prices. The more famous they are, get the most high prices. All right, so if that person really wants it, they will get that money. Or else otherwise, it's not worth it. And always ask for money up front. Ask for at least half. So not have as for like um 25% up front, all right? Because you're risking your ask. So your ask. Uh, I'm actually walking up there. I'm up front robbing it. Cause suppose you get caught and everything while you're robbing the grave. Um, you should 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 at least waste some of the money and everything so you have fun before you get caught. Because I don't think you want to go to jail. And everything well, I'll put that I've been wasting none of the money and everything, you know, you want to have fun before you do it. The night before you do it, you should get laid. You should get laid because that exercises certain muscles and it, as a matter of fact, you do uh, have a lot more um, energy. Because I don't know why, it just, it seems to exercise a lot of the muscles that you have and, and, and the next day you somehow do, do have a lot of um, energy and everything and there's a lot of things you might have to do while you're, or while you're getting this out. And I think, you know, it takes a lot of exercise. You have to push a lot and everything. You might have to run a lot if you get caught. On this big, all right, if it's a male, you might have lines like that from the, from the baldness, okay? Now, so what you do is you grab it around here. You grab it here and peel it back like that, okay? Peel it back, all right, and then it'll pull off. It'll make a disgusting sound. Um, so let's say it's some someone important, right? Or right, so you uh, so you take a sample of the uh, that mustache, right? Okay, so you make sure that uh, I'm so authentic. Or right, you take the dentures and you make sure they're with them, so that way the person knows who this person is. All right, all right. Because sometimes sometimes you you go and you risk your ass looking for somebody all right and somebody might be paying some serious money for it so you have to make sure it's the real thing okay and, and they have to make sure it's the real thing so you have, so you have to bring some kind of um proof that it's the real thing so you bring a piece of hair preferably from the, from the longest part and you know um so let's say they have a, a mustache you bring that definitely all right the person had a mustache when they died. Then you, then you bring it. It's usually around here, or right, sometimes you might find it around the jaw. It might be left there. Okay, so when you, uh, so when you, uh, so when you, so when you bring out the jaw, so I'll show you later. I'm in the real, um, um, coffin itself. It's a little. It's a bit. It's very, it, it, I, 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 it's hard to find, okay, and it's, and it's very, um, so you could lose it real fast, all right? So when you find it, okay, the jaw is usually like that, at, I'm around this shape, okay? It's like that, okay, so when the, so when the body decom, decomposes, it's like long like that, okay? It all rots out in a flat line, almost, so you can't see it. Okay, see, uh, see the top usually has teeth, but the bottom is sometimes hard to find. Okay, because it's usually out like that. Now, when you first find, you might have to do some some fixtures, okay, and put um a uh, spring on the sides. So that way, you know, uh, I'm gonna open it up, all right, and shut for show. It's very okay, but at the while. You take um, some screws and everything. You make a, a hole here and in the jaw. You put the spring. And then it's fine. It's just like that. All right, so open and close. All right, so what you do, all right, so when you, so when you first open them up, all right, do not, do not grab it here, all right? Don't grab it by the teeth like that, all right? 
or you grab it by the eyes or the nose, you, you pull out, put your finger all the way in, there is nothing there that will hurt you at all. Or you have to make sure of that. There, there's nothing that can hurt you. Do not be afraid. Pull it out like that. Do not pull it by the teeth or else it'll break out like that and you will have holes. So it's like a waste of time. Okay, so you, so you grab it like that, pull it forward, or so you'll have the backbone like this, all right, and you'll have ribs. Now the shirt usually turns hard, all right, so you have to break off the shirt and you have to rip it back. Now, okay, so try and keep this, or right, try and keep the real teeth in, all right, the, the roots will pop out very, very, very easy, okay. See, as you can see, the bone is very thin, so that's why these popped out very very easily. I can almost pop them in, but I can't pop them in quite right. Why? Because the root, the, um, the um, gum was about this far, so that's why you can't push them all the way in because that's how far it went when they were alive. Okay, now see, as you can see, see these are the nostrils. Okay, for this, for this you're gonna have to take something, push it in, wrap around um, uh, thin, um, um, cloth or something, push it in so that we could get that real clean. On the inside, see on the inside, if you, if you don't want to make a cut around here, so you have to take something real thin and push it around, make sure it's all clean, all right, see, so you remember you have a very small hole, all right, see, so you, see, so you, so you make a cut right here, so you can make sure that the inside is all clean, but I mean, it won't look that, that nice afterwards. As a matter of fact, it won't look that that good at all, okay? So what you do is you try and make the best, put your finger in there if you have to, and get it as clean as possible. Or right, so that way you don't have to make a cut, and, you know, it's much better. If you want to afterwards, you can set it down, put a, put a black candle on the top, and let it bleed down. Let the candle wax fall, and it looks nice, okay? So what you do, if you want, you can try, try diluted bleach on it okay you dip it in there for a few seconds all right so wash it off all right then afterwards you you dip it back in wash it off make sure the bone does not get that soft with water or else at the while this will be very fragile all right and if you say you topple it over it will break on you so what you do is try and try and um dilute the bleach as much as possible do not paint it at all do not paint this at all because it will ruin the whole thing because it is hell to get the paint in here and get it right because you want to see the, the cracks like this there's a crack so you want to see everything so that way it looks real okay you want to see see every little crack around the sides or right? you want to know that it's real okay so that way you know it's authentic and looks nice like that it looks much better when it's real okay if it's fake, see if it's fake, you will know when it's fake, okay. See around the nose, it's never perfect, right? Everybody has their own different thing around here. It's always somehow cracked in a way, okay? Right here, you will see cracks. If you don't see cracks around here, not cracks out, just cracks around here. See after it's washed, then you know it's fake, okay? Um, you should see some around here, cracks that, that can peel out like this. All right, like that. It's like flaky. That way you know it's real, okay? Around the side, you will see every little detail on a real skull. But there is no, there is no way you can actually duplicate that in real life. There, there is no actual way you can really do it. All right, because you have holes going in through here and going out to the back. Okay, all this. So remember, this is all flesh-like. Okay, see this? Is this like that? That's hair, right? That's hair left over. This is the hair afterwards. This person had very short hair, as you can see. It's like flaky. It flakes off real fast. This right here is my blood, so don't, so don't miss, so don't miss, um, fake that, you know, for, 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 for um, blood of the person, all right? Because as they, as they, as they have no blood. All right, it's, this is their blood. It's nothing, it's just brownish. It's already decayed. Okay, this one is from a very long time ago. Okay, if you find something more new, you can expect more, more, 
um, reddishness, okay? It's this one, it's this one will end up a little brown, okay? Because it's very old. Okay, so, so after you wash it, so it'll be like brown and and like beige-ish, okay? But if you find something new, it will be reddish all around it. It'll be red. If you find something really old, okay, it will be brownish. I'm all around so you uh, so leave it in your so on your roof or something okay but uh all right you so see like it's like in the summertime or something when it when it open there's a lot of sun it's real hot and at the wall this will get all white it will be beautiful everything you can put it anywhere so you, can, uh, so you put it on the wall find a way to fix this on it will great and if you if you also get the leg bones it'll look even better like this with both of them, all right? Like that. It'll look beautiful. So what you do? Okay, some of them, some of them you might find some more, some more metal on it than others, all right? So what you have to do is actually reach in and get these out, right? See this part, is, it's this part, it's in the inside. Um, um, see, see, it's this part on the inside and everything, it's, it's always glass, all right? But for the for the legs and everything, you always find it's metal. Sometimes you will find it's it's glass. But um, a lot of times you'll find it's metal. All right, switch so it. Switch so first. I have to do. All right, so this is cloth. You have to peel back the cloth, which is very hard. So as you can see, this is very hard to rip. All right, say so this was hard. All right, it would be very hard. You have to. So you, have to, uh, so you have to find a knife and you have to make a um, slice, okay? And you peel it back like that, okay? And you will find the ends of the bones. You will not see the rest of it, or you will only see this part, or you will only see the on the ball of the bone, right? So you, so you grab the ball, you drag it forward, and it will, it will pop out like nothing. And that's how you have that. All right, if you want fingers, so if you want fingers, do not move anything. Move don't move nothing at all or else you will not find them all right because once you've mixed up all the bones you won't see which ones are fingers or, or which ones are toes it's very hard so what you do is before you even move this part all right you find the you find the hands all right you take out the fingers because those are small they're 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 very small they're in parts all right if you rip off this part you will leave the rest in this part, and this part, and this part. All right. So, you, so if you want this part, right, you have to take that out first, right? Because it will break off like nothing. It was very, very uh, easy to break off. All right. The the flesh is exactly as I've explained, like this, like nothing flaky. It's nothing. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's that old. This one is very old, so it's nice. So look for dates that are over um, 60 years old. If you find something all over 60 years old, this is what you will get. Or maybe even uh, a bit better. Now, um, if you find something over 60 years old, you are in good luck. All right, see, it's that way you don't have to wash off much. You just so you wet it and the rest will fall off. And it's very, very, very easy. Now, if you find something more new, so you have to rub it and rub it and rub it, or you gotta wash off all the blood and everything, you know, because it's a bit more new. This one has almost no brains, let me see. Um, right, there's a piece of the brains. Let's see. Right, there's another piece of the brains. If I had something wet here, I would wet them up and let you see how the brains look afterwards. Okay, if you, if you find something more new, you might find it in a chunk, in a chunk, right? And if you shake it, it won't sound crisp like this. All right, sounds very crisp. Now, some of them might sound a little more fleshy-like, all right? It won't be fleshy, but it'll be soft, all right? And once you wet them, they're gonna turn into brains, and they're gonna be very soft. So you have to, you have to watch out for the, drain in your sink as it might get caught in there. All right, so what you do is you shake it out in the toilet or, uh, 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 or you shake it out in a bucket 
because it will get caught. It's best if you wash it in a bucket. It's that way, it's that way afterwards you can see what's solid and everything. You can put everything in the toilet and that way nothing will get caught. Um, make sure there's no witnesses. When you leave, always bring it back. If you leave witnesses, sometimes you might, you might like doing these things and everything at the wall. Somebody might see them and say, that was him, that was him, that was him. Never let anybody point you out. Right, because if you get pointed out, it's very easy, all right? So, like, so let's say you robbed all five graves, all right? All right, for the first one, you might be able, you might get caught, all right? But if there's witnesses for the rest of them, you will get caught too. Why? Because they're going to blame you for it, all right? Because they caught you for this one. That means you most likely did the rest of them, and the judge will say it was you. Never leave witnesses. If you have to knock them out, Knock the muscle that way they think it's a dream. It's best not to kill, but if it's necessary, do it.